I liked engines. Um, I had a love for it. When I was younger, I would collect all the original Hastings signs, original Mustang signs, oil cans, license plates, but I had real porcelain signs. I started my business when I was 13 as a hobby with absolute nothing but an extension cord and an old valve grinder. This is an original 1940s Wayne 70 gas pump with add glass on all four sides, which is a rarity. Bullet holes in it, looked like it got hit by a car. Did a lot of motocross, a lot of, a lot of motorcycle riding. A local gas station was my very first customer. Just started doing machine work for friends. My father was a machinist for the Reading Railroad. My grandfather was a machinist for the Reading Railroad. And I guess that's where I picked up the machine aspect of things. And then I just took machining and engines, put it together and went from there. We are in Jonestown, Pennsylvania. My name is Pete Teasdale. My business is Teasdale Engine and Machine Services. A lot of the stuff in the shop we make, my son and I made, these are some BMW flanges, turbo flanges we were making for a customer. This is a hub that we make. We can get these things down to 1.1 pound. Uh, we make these in-house. We do everything totally out of billet, but we have to hollow this out. We have to drill holes in here. This gets totally bored completely all the way through. We have to cut key slots in here. Rotating weight is big on an engine, you know, so we can take an eight pound damper get rid of about seven pounds of rotating mass. So that's, that's, that's big for us. We sold out all of them, they're gone. This is an engine, that's a factory Chrysler race engine from uh, 1962. It's a 413. It was in really, really bad shape. All the cylinders. Uh, it's totally machined. I sleeved all the cylinders back to standard bore. What sets this apart is the identifying valve reliefs that are cut into the deck surface. All the work we have, you can see it's lined up on pallets outside. But we do a lot of diesel tractor pull engines. These guys are dumping. They, the owners are just pouring fuel into those engines. We were having trouble continually having ring failure. So we went to diamond honing. We use coolant. We don't use oil at that point. It's a learning curve because we were always used to using oil. We keep our machines in like new condition. So with that, we found great success that our rings are holding up almost a whole season now. Actually are a whole season. So going from three poles to a whole season of poles, no problem. So that, I think that's a great success. The sky's the limit at this point. Technology has changed to some degree with coatings and with materials, so you have to change with that. We use our Rottler equipment on everything. Every engine block, cylinder head. You know, what's your business worth? You know, my business is worth a lot of money to us. This is my livelihood. Again, I've started with nothing. You know, you climb the ranks of buying old used equipment and then you fix it up, make it work for you. I think my business has grown with that, so it deserves to have good equipment.